Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and in this course, I'm going to tell you several stories. This is the first story. When I first learned multiplication facts, I was taught how to read the table. If I wanted to find the product of 4 and 7, I would look across the multiples of 4, and I would look down the multiples of 7, and see where they intersected, and I could see that 4 times 7 was equal to 28. I learned how to read the table and how to find products. However, when it was time to memorize the facts, I found part of it to be very difficult, and ultimately I wish that there was a better way to do it. When we started, we learned the multiples of 1, and I found that to actually be very easy to do. After the multiples of 1, we moved to the multiples of 2, and this was a little more difficult. I was able to do this, but I could sense that it was just a little harder. And then we moved to the multiples of 3. And I found that some of the multiples of 3 were easy for me to memorize, and some of them were actually very difficult. But eventually we moved to the multiples of 4, and again I found that a few of the multiples of 4 were easy for me to work with, but many of them were very difficult for me. And then when we came to the multiples of 5, I felt something different, and that was that they seemed to be quite a bit easier. Eventually we moved to the multiples of 6, and I found them to be very, very difficult. The multiples of 7 were the same, the multiples of 8 were the same, and many of the multiples of 9 were also very difficult for me. When we came to the multiples of 10, it felt like they became easier again. So as I learned my facts, I felt like I understood the multiples of 1, the multiples of 2, the multiples of 5, and the multiples of 10. But the rest, which are shown in white here, were very difficult for me. It almost seems like it would have been easier if we would have started with those so I would have had more time, or if there were some other ideas that I could use to learn them. As we go through the course, we're going to look at some very simple but very important ideas that can make this entire process much easier and it can make your learning much more powerful. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborning, and this is the first story.